So obviously this is code.org. Um, I'm working on computer science discovery lessons. This is lesson eight. I'm on section six of that. Oh, it's of unit two, the HTML stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. Comments. You can add comments to your code to explain the different parts of the code and what it should create. Comments can help you to debug and will also help other people who are trying to understand your code. Okay. So this right here is a comment. It will not actually appear in the body of the website, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Do this. Look at the code with your partner and find the comments, okay? Use the comments to help you fix the bugs in the HTML. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead, and if you don't know what some of this stuff is, obviously you can preview it. I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down, though, for us. So this is what they're talking about when they mean a comment. Comments are only be able are only seen by programmers themselves. They are not seen on the front page or on the page of the website. They are often used in debugging. They're used so people understand what is going on in the site when they're looking at it code-wise. They're often used for credit, right? So maybe I want everyone to know or any programmer to mess with this that I was the person who did it. So I might say, you know, bye. Kurt Kaiser or what have you. That's another situation they're used in. Occasionally they're used in hacking to mock the company um, that got breached. Regardless, they're only seen by programmers. The comments are seen by programmers. They're not seen in the general script being run or in the uh, markup language that is displaying uh, the page. So let's look for some bugs here. Title, page, introduction, that looks like a title and that looks like the introduction's fine okay here we have a list now ol should be a numbered list and then okay that would be a subheading that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and is that where are they ending this li tag i'm gonna hit enter on this guy just to get it to the next line it helps me see where things are i would recommend you do the same okay this looks like the li tag and notice now that it's indented automatically, so we can see everything in the li tag. Let's keep going. Here's another comment telling us this is where the seek house stuff starts. Comments are more useful, especially as sites get large. So, its skin is an inch thick. Wow, all right. That's info, that's a photo. Now what have we here? There's pink right here. That means, what? oh there is an error somewhere something is missing that's what that's trying to tell us well that's an li that's an li can you spot what might be missing if you don't i would say compare it up here all right and let's just go line by line li li huh well i see right off the bat look where they put the number on this one and look where they put the number on this one so they started their list under the title on the first one but next to the title on the next two so before we fix what's in here, I bet we should get rid of that and have it, since two of them have it before the title. And now, let's hit refresh and save, and our number should appear next to the title like these two do. Okay, now back down here, what do we have going on? Ah, well, image tag, that looks fine. Uh, and an alt tag. Up, oh, but paragraph. Notice that, that is not here. So let's go ahead and get that added. I'm going to backspace this and hit enter just to format. Whoops, and I lost the end of that. Okay, that's looking better and excellent. Now let's go down here. Well, here's some pink again. So what's going wrong? H3 tag, but they have H2 over here. I wonder what size they actually want. Well, if I look up here, you can confirm that what they're using is H3. So I'm going to go ahead and backtrack that and or backspace that or whatever and fix it. So that paragraph looks fine to me. What is going on with our image tag? IMG SRC equals IMG SRC equals that all looks good. Alt tag looks good. They use the slash to end it. Hmm. Well, let's check out this file name. Is this file name? Whoops. I see a typo. Toad is missing an A here. So let's go ahead and add that. And if yours doesn't pop up here, hit refresh and save. Sometimes you need to do that to get it to update. Oh, and I can tell already 
this paragraph down here, it looks a bit strange. And it looks a bit strange. You can't see it as much because there's nothing below it, but it's because this tag is closed in the wrong spot. So we need to close this tag here. All right, and then what else do we have? From your, so look at this. If you look at this photo here, why is there text appearing next to it? The credit to the photographer is right here below the images, but this one has text next to it. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I'm spotting something right away. There's paragraph tags around the text. There's paragraph tags around this text. Do you know what there is not? There is no paragraph tags around this text. So let's go ahead and add that. And one more, it looks like we got one more here, boom. And now, yep, it's separated out. That looks good to me. So let's call it mission accomplished and keep going.